MLB The Show 23 is officially here. That means you guys are looking for the best ball player, how to upgrade your ball player, how to get them to 99 the fastest way. So today I got you guys covered. Best method, ball player, archetype, everything you need to know with the ball player. Can you use them in Diamond Dynasty? Yes. A free side arming lefty or a free 99 switch hitter. So today we've got the quickest method to 99. So if you want a 99 ball player, drop a like. Now, first thing I did this year was I grinded up a two-way archetype to diamond. So that's going to be Suwohei here. If you guys go two-way, you guys will end up getting this diamond archetype. Diamond Cheesy Slugger is an absolute glitch. And by the way, if you guys are grinding the ball player again this year, there is lots of XP stubs. And I'm telling you, these diamond equipment packs will get you probably like 20k plus i think i got legendary call out of this one and i got another like 20,000 plus equipment so out of all of these you guys will probably earn about 60,000 plus stubs from all of these diamond packs so make sure you guys are grinding your ball players but if you come over here to diamond dynasty you can put your ball player at dh if you put him as a two-way player so i'm gonna put him here at dh he'll show up as a 65 but we all know he actually has a way better overall than this so just like Shoei, you can put him at dh and at starting pitcher so my cap is at starting pitcher right here and at dh so you can use them and start them at two different positions now you guys might be at bronze so i'm just going to start all the way over and take you guys through the tutorial how to get this done the fastest way same thing as every year so say you want to do a position player here you just want to use your shortstop you can't use them at pitcher obviously you guys will go with power power is the best one to go with second third short everyone seems to usually do shortstop so we're just going to do shortstop here confirm and continue so say you want to do that you guys go to finish up here in the top right then your archetype will be sparking slugger but we're going to go through every archetype here in the video then you guys will be grinding all of these up and through the road to the show missions which i'm going to show you guys that step the best way to upgrade this and you know there's no glitch this year like there was in 21 but i maxed my player out in like five hours and you guys are going to do it in five hours or less as well now, one thing i do want to note you guys will see sparking slugger slick slugger and speedy slugger but don't go with any of these you guys want to go with the sparking slugger the slick slugger is the worst one you can do the speedy slugger is going to be the second best one you can do but you're going to have low contact but go with the sparking slugger your speed will still be decent your hitting stats will still be great as well and this will be the best one to go with and same thing applies for every single position player position there so if you guys want to do two-way player the one that i did we're going to jump into this one baby so we're going to go with velocity two-way velocity there and also two-way power so click all that starting pitcher what you probably want to be if you want to be a closer then go with the closer and then also for my position i just went shortstop doesn't matter what you go here you're going to get the same archetype there's going to go right fielder like shohei otani confirm and continue now we're going to go to finish so we got a brand new road to the show player two-way player but i already maxed out the two-way pro Program, so pretty much you only have to do it once so as you can see here i've already got all of the perks i grinded through silver i got the gold swole and now i have the diamond swole here but you know all you really have to do though is you guys can see the overall is different so since my first player was a shortstop it's upgrading him as a shortstop this player you would have to you know upgrade yourself as a right fielder then down here you guys can pick your pitches i went with sinker cutter splitter screwball and slider just like my other player now i'm still trying to figure out how you guys can get outlier all that good stuff on a two-way player like i said this is just a tutorial and then lastly if you want to go with pitcher same thing applies just like you did with the two-way player just go pitcher go velocity and start your player do not and listen you do not need to download any rosters this is not the same as past years you do not need a zero overall roster we're going to be playing on beginner i will take you guys through all the settings so with that being said you're going to start a new road to the show with that new ball player that you just did and you don't need to download any roster so just make sure you're on the current roster you'll be on the beginner rating and then you guys are going to start with your ball player that you had active so that last ball player that i created and for some reason on on this screen i keep crashing so i'd say wait like five seconds and then skip it like i just did so you might crash but just go ahead and do that now, as far as this get drafted to whatever team you want to go to you do not need to play on a zero overall roster it is a waste of time so just go with you know whatever questions here go to the angels go to your dream team you know my team popped up as my favorite team so just pick your favorite team and then since they were so lazy to add like a you know draft you know screen i, I gotta show this Th this is actually so lazy they go right into the diamond pack animation. Road to the show is down bad. Anyways, you got drafted for your team. Now you're gonna do your settings, step three. Now come over to your settings. There's a couple things you have to switch here. You'll actually be on beginner. This is all you need to be on is just beginner. That's why this year you don't need to download, you know, an extra roster or whatever. You're gonna get the same amount of XP. So you're gonna be on beginner and you're gonna be hitting home runs every single pitch, or you should be hitting home runs every pitch. You want the pitcher or a hitter, make sure both of those are on beginner. And come over to your presentation settings here. You don't really need to do this, but if you want it to go faster in the fastest way, you know, you guys wanna get this ball player 
player the fastest way. So copy all these settings, presentation on fast play, pitch selection on none, batter pitcher only, rarely, and then all three of these are off. And lastly, come over to mode specific here, turn off base running opportunities, they're gonna be a waste of time. You guys will get speed from getting doubles, triples inside the park home runs. Now for fielding opportunities, you guys can keep this on none. I have it on none because my player is a DH. If you went with shortstop or right fielder, you might wanna have this on some so you can you know, upgrade your fielding a little bit. But even then, it just takes a lot more time, so I just have it on none. After that, you guys will save your settings. I already have mine saved, so I just have to use that as default, and you guys will have the best settings for Road to the Show. For the quickest way to upgrade to 99. So now you guys are ready to start upgrading your Road to the Show player, but I'm gonna show you guys how to max out your power the fastest way possible. If you're on the newer gen consoles, you guys will have a stadium assignment here. If you're on PlayStation 4 or what is it, Xbox One, you guys will not see this screen. But most of you might be on next gen consoles, so if you are, follow these steps. There's a stadium that you wanna use. Now you only wanna put this stadium as your home stadium. You guys will go save this exact created stadium. I'll show you here once it loads. It's called Haiti Road to the Show Glitch. It is a little league ballpark and every single hit is a home run. So if you guys wanna upgrade your power the fastest way, just put that as your home stadium. If you want, you can put it as all of the other teams home stadium, but then you'll be playing at that stadium for every game. And I chose not to do that because you still need to upgrade your speed and your contact and all that other stuff and getting doubles and triples. But here you will be hitting home runs like every single swing. Just having one little league ballpark as your home stadium, whether you're in double A, triple A or the MLB, that, that'll be the easiest way to get this done. Now it's time to upgrade your player. Now I upgraded my player in about five hours, but you guys can do it in less time because I went with the two-way player. If you do a hitter, probably do like four hours because it really doesn't take that long to get the diamond archetype so if you went with the two-way player or a pitcher you guys will be starting off as your first game pitching all you have to do as a pitcher is pitch six innings each of those two-way player or pitcher programs all you need to do is pitch six innings i'm not going to do it right now but that is the minimum so i'm just going to simulate here do not simulate you need to pitch six innings and then simulate there so you know that's pretty much it if you're a pitcher pitch six innings and then simulate the rest of the game that's all you have to do in those ball player programs 10 strikeouts give you three you guys will fly through these programs faster than ever but there's actually there's one mission i want to show you for hitting and that is the repeatable extra base hit mission but it, it's kind of weird how it works that stadium i showed you you'll probably get five extra base hits every game if you went with the two-way player your next start will be you know your your guy hitting so there there we go a home run it's easy five extra base hits per game but it's kind of weird how it works you guys will need to back out each game so just remember how many extra base hits you got because the mission for some reason doesn't reset so if i have enough innings here i'll probably get five home runs in this game i mean it's a little league ballpark it's like 100 feet around the whole stadium might be shorter but as you guys can see every single hit is a home run like i said it took me about five hours but if you guys are flying through it you know not you know doing other stuff then it'll probably take you one hour max to max out each of those uh, archetypes or each of those archetype programs it's just it's so easy look at that i'm late that's a late swing and it's, it's still gonna be a home run <laughs> this stadium is an absolute glitch you can put it as every stadium but like i said you guys still need to get your speed up get those triples doubles and inside the parkers so it's good to have it just as your home stadium so i only have four at bats there but if you guys had five it'd be five home runs if you guys had six it'd be six home runs at least it should be so whether you're a hitter or a pitcher or a two-way player like i did but i maxed out on that one you guys will have the easiest way to do those programs is just going in there in that stadium hitting home runs and doing that repeatable mission as you guys get higher in the program see this one for the repeatable uh extra base hits that'll be seven that's pretty much the method this year guys the ball players are still amazing i mean if you went two-way player if you went with just a hitter it, they're all amazing but as you can see i already upgraded mine to diamond so you just have to do it once and you'll have it for every single position that you pick and once you get to the diamond program like i said guys these packs will have tons of xp and stubs like like I said i was pulling like 20,000 plus equipments from these packs the ball players are still as good as ever and like i showed you guys earlier you can use them as your diamond dynasty dh and pitcher but every year i like to drop you guys the ball player tutorial what you guys should do the fastest way to do this fastest way to do that and unfortunately there's no glitch this year but it really doesn't take that long to max them out my two-way player took about five hours your hitter might take three or four just depending on how fast you go but the ball players are still amazing it's a free 99 switch hitter or left-handed side armor and i hate you if you picked a left-handed side armor Anyways, you guys have a great, wonderful, and safe rest of your day. I'll catch you guys here in the next one. Peace out.